Now, from Pennsylvania Death Row, a commentary by Mumia Abu-Jamal. The Corporate Elections Do you ever wonder why certain candidates get mega coverage and others get none? That's because the corporate media concentrates more on a candidate's funds than their positions. And they concentrate on the money race precisely because that money, for the most part, lands in the hands of the media industry. Because media companies profit so handsomely from such donations, they can hardly be considered fair or objective arbiters of either debates or other campaign coverage. The money race influences the horse race. The horse race influences the media. And the media influences millions of voters, which starts to cycle anew. I need not go into the phenomenon of pack journalism, for you've all seen it recently, where every media outlet gets it wrong in their predictions of how voters will vote. And because of media power, those candidates who can't garner tens of millions before elections are either ignored or treated as colorful figures of sidebar interest. Thus, neither Dennis Kucinich, who just quit the race, Ron Paul, or Mike Gravel can be taken seriously, even though all have been elected to Congress repeatedly by healthy margins, because many of their messages conflicted with a market-led conventional wisdom. They've been virtually ignored, and most have been barred from public debates. We've been told they're not serious contenders because they haven't raised serious money, even though Paul handily beat Rudolph Giuliani, in several states, coming in second in Nevada. He's not serious, yet Giuliani is. Money rules the roost. It's been said that money is the mother's milk of politics. It keeps the status quo static, for it winnows out those whose views do not cut the corporate mustard. In a nation where money rules almost everything, why would it no longer rule the political process? From death row, this is Mumia Abu Jamal. These commentaries are produced by Noel Hanrahan for Prison Radio.